Hello everybody. So in this episode, let me show you how to use AWS SDK version 3. Now I've created a table in DynamoDB called Nodes and it has a partition key of Nodes ID. So we are going to retrieve an item from this Nodes table because if we go into it and explore the table item, I have added one of the item into it. So we will retrieve this item first using AWS SDK version 2 and then I'll show you how to retrieve the same item using the version 3. And finally, I will show you how to use DynamoDB Utils library and make the SDK version 3 queries much simpler using marshalling and unmarshalling. Now in Visual Studio Code, I have created three files v2.js, v3.js and v3-utils.js. In v2.js, uh, I am using AWS version 2 and this example shows how we used to retrieve item with AWS SDK version 2. So first, we need to install AWS SDK and then I am accessing DynamoDB in the clients and after that, I am using the document client of DynamoDB to make simpler queries in SDK version 2. Now I have created a function called getItem. Here, as for the parameters, I am passing the name of the table, which is nodes, and then the hash key or the primary key. In this case, it's the hash key nodes ID. So if we look at the table one more time, so the table name is nodes and the partition key is, key is nodes ID. And we are retrieving the nodes ID of 100, so I've hard coded that. And then I'm using document client dot get method and passing down the parameters and I'm calling it as a promise and then await it and I'll then get the data. So here I console log it. And if I take a terminal and then execute the version 2.5 uh, node.v2.js and here I see the item that it retrieved from the DynamoDB table. So this works fine. So how can we use version 3 now? Now if we search for AWS SDK JavaScript documentation, now you should see the AWS SDK version 3 documentation on top. So that's the developer guide as well as the API reference. So let's open the developer guide and I will also open the API reference in another new tab. So what's the motivation behind using uh, version 3? Because this is a complete rewrite of version 2 and uh, they have added the modularized packages. And now we are able to import only the required packages. And that's going to reduce our package size quite a bit. So if we scroll down a little bit, and this is the way that we can import AWS SDK in version two. And in our example, we access even uh, slash clients and slash DynamoDB to reduce the bundle size. And in version 3, we can only install the required service library and then get the components that we need. So how do we install this? So that's why we need to go to the uh, AWS SDK API reference. And here we see all the supported libraries. I will select global and then search for DynamoDB. And here we have AWS SDK client DynamoDB. Let me go into that. And here it has all the instructions how to install the library. So let's select this. I'm using npm and I'll take a terminal and paste it and hit enter. I've already installed it. So you can see it's available here now. And then if you open version 3.js, now I am importing DynamoDB client from at AWS SDK slash client DynamoDB. So now I can use import statements. So the first thing we need to do is to create a DynamoDB client. So I will uh, create an instance of DynamoDB client passing in the region. And this is pretty much similar to what we have done with uh, version 2. And then I've created another function called getItem. And here also we have to pass similar attributes. So we have to pass the table name and that is nodes and the key. Now here's a one difference. So when you are passing the values for the hash key, I have to specify the data type of the key. So in this case, this is a string. So I have to say this is string and then pass the value. But in the previous example with version two, since we are using the document client, we can just pass nodes ID 100. 
and the document client will add those uh, data types behind the scene. But here we have to specify it separately. And after that, I will just use document client and here I'm using the send command. Since I am getting an item, I have required this get item command from uh, clients dynamo db so i'm creating another instance here new get item command and then i just simply pass the parameters i've created so let's see if this works before that let me change the uh, package json type to module and then i'll go to an integrated terminal and this time let me execute v3.js And here we go. So it returned the similar data. So in previously in version two, I just got the node ID 100 title and the body of that particular node. But this time also we got it. But I have this S, you know, the data type also here. So when I want to pass this data back to the client, I have to do some extra work here. And that's why I have created another example with DynamoDB utilities. So if we open this one now here, in addition to installing client DynamoDB, I have also installed this util DynamoDB module as well. So this module gives me two functions. One is marshal and the other one is unmarshal. So let's see how we can use marshalling and unmarshalling. And as usual, I first have to create a DynamoDB client by passing the region. And then this is our get item function. And now in the parameters, I can pass the table name as nodes. But when we are passing the key, I can wrap it with the marshal function. And now I can just pass the nodes ID like we did it in version 2 document client. So I'm not passing any data types here. I will just pass nodes ID is 100. And this marshalling function will add those data types automatically for us. And here again, I'm using the same get item command by, param by sending the parameters. And when I got the data, before printing out to the client, or before returning out to the client, I'm doing unmarshal. Now, if I didn't do the unmarshal, I will still see the data like this. But unmarshalling will take out these data types, and uh, we can easily return that data directly to the client. So let's execute this one too and see how the result is. Node v3 util.js. And here we go. I just received the data just like in version 2. Nodes ID 100, title, and the body. You see, there's no longer these uh, data types attached to it. So I can simply return it to the caller or the client. And this is how we can use AWS DK version 3 with DynamoDB. And if you want to use it with any other service, simply refer to the API reference here. And if you go to globals, and here if we search for S3, we should see the client S3 library. You can open it and install it and then use it. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in another video.